Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher, and today I'm going to be talking about the best screenwriting apps and web apps for 2019. Now, if you are like me, I am a filmmaker, and I am kind of a screenwriter or storyteller by nature. Um, it's something that I really, I love directing more, but it's kind of just become one of those things where it's not easy to find screenwriters who want to adapt stuff, so I've just been writing stuff myself. So if you're like me and you're getting into writing or maybe you're new to screenwriting or you've been in screenwriting a little bit, there's a lot of different programs and apps out there and it's really hard to decide and decipher which ones are going to work best for you and which ones are worth either investing in or not investing in. So today I'm going to be talking about the four big ones and why I recommend certain ones over others and sort of what you can do. So the first ones I want to talk about are when it comes to the free bracket. Now, I'm doing quotations that you can't see because one of these is free, but also with a advanced pricing. So this first one, which is the one we're talking about, is Celtics. Now, if you've never uh, used Celtics before, it's really great. It's a really great place to start. Um, they do now have pricing, which I believe is like a, a monthly type thing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's still a free version that allows you to do stuff. And then if you're in a school, um, schools can get them, enterprise, stuff like that. It's a great program. There is a free version that you can do some free stuff on. So I just wanted to mention that. But again, there is pricing. Um, personally, I think if you're going to pay for something, don't pay for this. So the next one we're going to talk about is the Amazon Storyteller or Story Writer. And this is 100% free. This is right in Amazon. Um, yeah, there's a, the Chrome app. This is really nice. Um, I will say, as nice as it is, I it's still it's not my favorite, but definitely if you are getting into screenwriting and you just want to jump in head first, you don't want to have to pay any money. Probably Amazon Storywriter is your best bet from the free version. Now, uh, there's two paid versions that I want to talk about, and these are these are paid, but they're still very very budget friendly considering. So the first one that I want to talk about is actually over here. It's called Slugline. Now. Slugline is really awesome. Uh, of course, it is on the Mac and iPad. I think you can actually get on the iPhone too. Now, uh, if you've never used Slugline, I'm going to actually pop it open right here. So we're going to go right down here and click Slugline, and then I'm going to do on a new screenplay. And Slugline is just very simple and to the point. So if you're someone who likes to just sit down and avoid distractions and just start writing, Slugline is awesome. Now, if you're not familiar with screenplay formatting, I'm not going to kind of teach you how to screenplay format, but the nicest part about Slugline is everything is pre-registered and it just goes very smoothly. So I could do internal scene and then boom, it immediately becomes uh, caps because it knows that it's that. I could do living room, whoops, living room day. So when I click enter, it knows it's a new action line. It is... Very cold in the living or in the room. So I'm going to click enter. And then now let's say I have a character named Olivia and she says, hey, why is it so cold? I mean, this is groundbreaking stuff here, guys. Um, but you can see it automatically detected when I did all caps that it was Olivia. Then it automatically detected it was her dialogue. And then I click enter and I can go back to new log line. Suddenly, Ethan walks in. Now, notice that I capitalized his name, but it didn't actually create a dialogue. That's because we didn't click enter. And again, that's a great thing about, oops, I spelled suddenly wrong. That's a great thing about Slugline and Highland 2, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then I can write Ethan. Oops. Yeah. Why is it so cold? This is just amazing stuff, guys. And then back to Olivia. I don't know. I would never write IDK, but um, anyway, you can see that Slugline does all the formatting for you, and that's kind of the plus side of a script writing software. Now, the thing about Slugline and sort of the only, uh, I mean, it does what it, it does. What it does. It, you can sit down and write. The only downside is there's very little preferences and formatting and, and different things you can do beyond the typical screenplay formatting. And what I mean by that is when you click on preferences, you can see it says, I prefer writing. <laughs> and I agree. Um, there is a couple format things you can do. But again, it's one of those things where I really do like Slugline for its writing format. I think when it comes to writing, it's really great. And I'll talk about them comparative in a moment. Uh, but I want to really talk about uh, the next one. And again, I have no affiliation with any of these companies, so I bought both of these with my own money. Slugline, I believe, is 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 40 bucks. Let's just double check. 
40 bucks. So 40 bucks for Slugline, 110% worth it. I really do love it. Again, it's just very clean, very easy to use. Highly recommend Slugline. But now we're going to talk about Highland 2. Now, Highland 2 is actually made by John August. And if you're unfamiliar with John August, he is the writer behind Big Fish. Uh, I mean, a ton of other movies. I think the new Aladdin movie. Um, he wrote books like Arlo Finch. And the great thing about John August is he is a writer. So he understands the things that writers come across in their daily life and sort of things that can help you write better, but also format better, stuff like that. So let's pop open Highland 2. Now, Highland 2 is a little bit more expensive. It's 50 bucks, so it's about $10 more. In the scheme of things, um, they're both just about equal in price in, in my eyes. And, uh, you know, the, the $10 difference is, is pretty slim. But Highland 2 is definitely a little more of an intuitive software. Uh, but not in a bad way. It's not so intuitive where you begin to have problems when it comes to, like, just, you know, sitting down and writing and there's too much stuff in the way. So one of the main things you're going to notice is there's a little bit of tools over here in this left hand and this right hand corner. So in this right hand corner, there's things like screenplay, you can change all your different uh, templates. So there's treatments and manuscripts, which this is pretty incredible that there's so many options if you want to write different stuff. Um, there's themes, so you could do like dark mode or, you know, different cool modes. Uh, I, I stick with classic for now. I mean, until I decide if I like another one. And then this is one of the biggest things I love about Highland 2. Sprint. And what Sprint is, and this kind of goes along with another tool called Goals, Sprint is you can set an amount of time in minutes and you can click go and you can just start writing. And the, the key and the idea is that you write and you just go. Um, and the best part is, is that actually you can create reports from this and you can view reports from recent sprints and how well you did. But this also goes along with goals. So you can set a goal of how many pages or words you want to write in a day. Um, there's a lot of different stuff and it's really cool. It'll tell you all these different stats. So this is really intuitive to kind of, kind of track how you've been doing in writing. And then if we go over here, so if we did internal, um, living room, you know, it's pretty much the same style. Uh, the living room, whoops, is freezing cold. Why is it so cold? Anyway, there's our horrible film. Uh, the only thing I will say, and this is one thing I did notice is a little bit gripe of mine. You have to click enter twice for a lot of these. Now, this sounds very stupid for me to say, um, but I will say that sometimes it throws me off guard when I'm like really fast typing. I'll hit enter once and start typing and it won't change just to keep that in mind. Um, but you can see over here, we now have our scenes. So if you had a ton of different scenes, which actually, you know what, let me, oh no, I don't have it anymore. Um, you can actually download Big Fish. The He actually has it like pre-installed. So you can go through all the scenes and you could search different scenes. And because there's a lot of these like little things, like uh, for instance, I think it's plain text editing or I can't remember the exact term, but two of these are like bold. So I could say bold. And now that's going to be in bold. And what happens is, is you're typing right now in the editor, which is very similar to Slugline. And then you can preview. And then this shows you what your actual script is going to look like. Now, the one thing that this sounds really stupid, but that Highland 2 has over Slugline is you can actually just save the PDF right here. Unfortunately, in Slugline, you have to go into the print, save PDF as, and it's a little more annoying. It's not as quick. So you also get things like bins. So uh, you could hold text. I think you have to, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, no, so it's actually from here. Basically, you go and click, and I could write something like, yeah, why is it so cold? And then let's say I don't want to include that dialogue as of now, but then later I'm like, yeah, you know, I want to add that. You can drag and drop. So there's a lot of cool stuff like that that you can do. Um, there is also assets, so like links or photos, or different stuff. And then there's just scratch pad, which you can just go in and, and write random stuff. Which again, because this is coming from John August, you can tell these are very writer-based things. Now, where Highland 2 gets really intense is sort of in its, I say really intense, but in a good way, in its preferences, or you can change things like font, your column width, your line spacing, um, you know, your sidebar text. You can, of course, change your scene headers, all that kind of stuff. A lot of crazy stuff in here. International, uh, you can back them up, which I actually love to do, which actually we'll set this right now. I totally forgot. I forgot to do that. So we could go to a folder and I want to, I think I have a script backup folder. Yep. 
script backups. Boom. Whoops. So now it is backing up my scripts uh, every 15 minutes, which is awesome. There's also some really, really cool uh, tools in here. Like, for instance, add scene numbers. So you can immediately just add scene numbers to everything. Uh, again, I'm not affiliated with Highland 2. I know I'm kind of gushing here, but I really do love this. One thing that's very interesting, uh, actually two things, character highlighting. So I could say, you know, let's say I'm doing a table read or I want to print these off for my actors and actresses. I can say, okay, you know, Olivia is going to be blue and this person's going to be here. And then it actually highlights their text for me. So when I print that out, they can easily see where their dialogue is in the scheme of things. Really great. It's also really nice because when I'm on set, sometimes I'm looking at my script and I need to just quick glance at dialogue and sometimes it gets all kind of jumbled in my brain. So that's really cool. Uh, another one is the gender analysis. This is really interesting. So you can actually have all your character names and specify whether they're male, female, or unspecified. So for instance, she's a female. And what's really cool is it'll actually tell you how many characters are, are female to male or unspecified, as well as um, lines or dialogue for words spoken. So if you wanted to make sure there was like an accurate representation of both women and men, or let's say you kind of wanted to see based on even casting, like how many men do we have? How many women do we have? Um, all that kind of stuff. There's really a lot you can do with those, uh, those tools. And of course, there's a lot of other things like you can add markers and all kinds of stuff. So Highland 2 is really, really intuitive. Now, I think if it's if in 2019, I think either of these are going to be great pieces of software to use. I actually kind of use them in tandem. Reason being is I slightly prefer to, I really love Highland 2 in almost every single way. The double enter thing kind of gets me, which that sounds so stupid. Um, but when it comes to, I'm, I'm a person that when I start writing, I just keep writing and I have to write quickly or it escapes my mind. So what I generally do is I generally write in slug line, especially like a first draft in slug line. And then I'll take that first draft and I'll bring it into Highland. And then in Highland 2, I'll go in and I'll do rewrites or I'll mark things up or I'll sort of do the, the final touch, uh, touching and polishes to the script. Again, it's easier to export, um, a lot more tools for formatting, stuff like that. So that's how I work with both of those. And I go back and forth. Sometimes I'll write it in Highland 2 if I'm feeling it. Sometimes I won't. It really just depends on the day and how I'm feeling. But definitely when it comes to screenwriting apps, Slugline and Highland 2 are by far the two best out there. But I, again, you know, if you're just getting into it, jump on the Amazon Story Writer. It's a really great tool. It's really, you know, it's free. It's cloud-based. You can download them locally. So that's a really great way to start writing scripts and learning to write scripts. I, you know, you don't need these pieces of software. Um, I just think you need to be using some type of script formatting software in some way, shape, or form. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, if you want to see more videos tailored towards narrative films and narrative filmmaking, be sure to let me know in the comments below and let me know which one's your favorite or if you have a different one that's your favorite. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.